In this IBM PPM tutorial, we will learn about snapshot. So, uh, we will see what is a snapshot, what is the importance of snapshot in IBM PPM, how to create the snapshot, and uh, what are the different uses of snapshots. And along with that, we will also see how to export and how to import a snapshot in BPM process center. Along with that, we will also see how to archive a snapshot, how to delete a snapshot, and how to archive a business process. As the name itself says the snapshot, okay, uh, snapshot means taking basically the picture, okay. Sim similar way over here, taking the picture of your your process of business process okay so what does it mean by taking the picture of business process so when we take the picture basically what we do we record okay the expression of the person at that particular time okay after that the expression can get changed but in the picture whatever your expression will be there at that point it itself it will come same thing into the business process suppose i want to save the state of the business process okay means i want to save the business process at one particular time what i can do i can just take a snapshot as you see when somebody takes a picture in the picture it's like it's a read only the picture will just give you the expression of that particular time you cannot edit okay similar way the snapshots are also the read only means whenever you get the state that snapshot that process will be a read only process okay so how how it is useful uh, snapshot so the uses of snapshot sort is suppose if i am developing i am a new developer i am developing my business process okay and what i did i did some five days of development and after that i messed up okay because i was working here and there and i messed up it's a very quite complex business process now till four days okay my code was working perfect okay i was able to go from one process to other process okay one service to other service everything was going well working good but fifth day i got some issue and i made so many changes and now even the it's nothing is working okay now in such scenario suppose okay i thought if i could have taken the backup of my process in the fourth day okay so what i can do i can directly uh, get all the code of the fourth day and i can start working from there okay rather than making the change okay or developing the process from the scratch again i can take the fourth day code and i can start working over there from there Okay, so same thing is achieved by using the snapshot. So what I will do, I will take the snapshot of the fourth day because snapshot, once you have taken, it will give you the complete status of the process where it will tell you what is the service, okay, what is the implementation of each service, okay. So I, since I got the snapshot and with that snapshot, I will generate a new business process, okay, and I will start working over there. Okay, so it's very very useful. Okay, okay. So whenever like whenever we are doing the code freeze also, suppose sprint one is completed and I want to the to do the code freeze of sprint one, what I will do? I will just take a snapshot of the sprint one. Okay, and I will keep it. So in the future, somebody wants to see. Okay, till sprint one, what till what was the till what was the point your code was completed? Okay, so I can just give the snapshot of the sprint one and it's it's and he can just check it and he can see oh this much code was completed okay fine now let's come over here and we'll see how to take a snapshot it's very simple suppose this is my process and i am just taking snapshot just click over here it will give what snapshot you want to take i want to take snap underscore 1.0 click on the ok button And you can see the snapshot. After this, suppose I made some change. I made some change over here. I went to collection document and some I'm just making some basic change. I just 
remove from here to here. Okay, so now what will happen? Your intake coach inside you removed it. Okay, so your intake coach will not get executed. So now directly your sample, this coach will come. So if you try to run your business process, it came to first activity. Okay, so your coach is second coach. Okay, because you are just writing output text and it came and it went to the second screen. Fine. Okay. Now, this is your current process. But when I took the snapshot, then I did not make this change. So what I can do is you can also run your snapshot. Okay. How to run your snapshot? Just double click your snapshot and it will open. Okay. And you can see it's read only. Now, this is snapshot. Okay. This is not the, your actual code. So if you, if you go inside your service, and you can see if still it is connected to the intake coach. Okay. And if you want to run, you can run your snapshot also. So now if you run your snapshot, you can see your actual intake screen is coming. And when I'm, since I'm submitting the intake, it goes to the second screen and then your service is getting over. Okay. So here, if you want to, to, to see the change also what happens. So this is your snapshot. And suppose you want to come to your main copy. This, this is snapshot here. You can see snap 1.0. If you want to go to main copy. Mm -mm, there's something will be there. Okay. So this is the snapshot. If you click over here, this is your process. This is again, click over here this got the snapshot. Okay. So it's quite simple that just double click on the snapshot. It will start showing you the changes that you have done in the snapshot. And if you uh, just close it, your normal main business process changes will come. Okay. So it is always a best practice to take snapshot when you are in like, a, suppose my development code is reached. So keep a snapshot, have a big backup. Okay. If you each sprint also, you can take the snapshot, but don't avoid taking so many snapshots. Why? Because all these snapshots are stored in the business process BPM internal memory. Okay. Because so if you take so many snapshots, what happens? You slowly, the memory will get full. So what you need to do, either you have to delete this, those, these snapshots, otherwise your business, perf otherwise your server performance will be reduced. Okay. So this is about the snapshot, how to create the snapshot and how to see what are the changes are there between snapshot and main business process. Okay. Uh, suppose I got one business requirement where somebody has told Okay, Mohit, uh, whatever the process you are having, whatever the process you have developed, okay, now, okay, now your workstation has changed, okay, so you will not have access to your process designer, okay, and you will not have access to your process center also, okay, your environment is also changed, but I want you to work in your the previous process. Okay, so is there is there any way you can take the backup of your previous process and that the, the previous process you can open into the new environment? Is there any way? So if that is the way, I don't need to create the process again from the scratch. So yes, you can take the backup. Snapshot is also used to take the. backup or export the business process okay or i can uh, you we can also import also we can also import snapshot okay 
Okay, so somebody asked if I have to take a backup of my business process. So what I will do, I will just take a snapshot. Okay, but snapshot is, is there in the process center. So how to take this snapshot as some sort of file? So you, what you can do, go to the process center and suppose this one you want to take, click over here and there is something called as export. So this snapshot, Okay, 1.0, I can click over there the export and select here the IBM BPM export. Okay, and click over here, export. So your process will be exported here and your process will export as a .twx file. Okay, so it is nothing, it is your complete business process. Okay, each and everything of your business process will come over here. Okay, so click on the save button. Okay, so now your business process is saved. .twx file. So, so you can take the export. Okay, now this is this is not the deployable file. Okay, so don't don't get confused. This file contains the whole project. Okay, whatever the project you have created, whatever the activity you you have created. Okay, so suppose uh, if you have to import this project into the new environment, what you need to do? Just directly come to the process apps and create over here and click over here import process app okay import process app give the file but here you will not be able to import this because it will say it's a duplicate file because this this particular process already exists in the process center so you cannot import so if you just click on the ok button and you can see uh, already available or access denied will not be imported Okay, but if we have any other business process which is not present in my current process center, it will be imported like this. So here we learned how to export a business process. For exporting a business process, what you need to do, first take a snapshot, okay? Once you take the snapshot, come to the process apps, okay? Click on the process where you have taken the snapshot and then click on the export, okay? If you want to import, what you can do for importing again come to the process app import process app okay so this is the way we use the snapshot okay now you can do some other activities also in the snapshot if you click over here and in the snapshot here there are some options for here okay edit clone activate archive okay all these options so suppose you can see these options one by one what happens okay so suppose archive as the name itself says so if you click on the archive what it will do it will delete the snapshot okay suppose if you want to delete your business process then also you have to do the same thing suppose i'm going to to delete this business process called as a data integrity what you need to do go to open in designer uh, not sorry not why you are we are going to open in designer click over here and there's something called here manage archive process app when you click on archive this process app will get archived and you should be able to see your process app over here you can just click over here the delete and your process app will be deleted permanently from the process center so it says also deleting a process app or toolkit cannot be under means it means your your thing is already there in the recycle bin okay so now before you click delete back up the process application or toolkit by exporting it okay so if you will again delete it will permanently delete it and you cannot get it back okay so this is the way we delete a snapshot or a business process okay fine so this was about the snapshot we will again come back to the snapshot to understand more in detail.